guys welcome back to my channel it's patra if you're new hello if you're old welcome back today i'm going to tell you how i moved to london at the age of 25 without any job before that i'm going to tell you my reason for moving to london before i moved to london i was living with my mom and sister and i wanted the freedom to like express myself as a woman as an adult also i'm a very creative person and i felt like birmingham was not creative at all i mean to be honest i didn't really go out that much I didn't really go out that much in Birmingham and mostly when I go out it's always Birmingham City Centre I feel like that's the only thing they, uh, they have to offer and I wanted more like a creative vibe and uh, where there's a lot to do for example if I wanted to try different type of hobbies I feel like Birmingham would not have that and also one of the other reasons I wanted to move out at the age of 25 24-25 I felt like I was rebelling against my mom for some reason i felt like we were always like clashing and i just didn't like it it's like every time we are always clashing this and i just didn't like it so i just thought no me moving now i thought it was actually a good idea but now it's better actually okay. at the age of 25 i was in my modeling era like i modeled i didn't have like a paid gig but i did also like collaboration but not pay. Yeah, I did some photo photography here and there. I really enjoyed it, mostly like editorial. I really enjoyed it and I thought that, you know, Birmingham is just like, there is not much happening in Birmingham and there's more happening in London. So I just thought to myself, do you know what? This is going to be a good opportunity when I move to London. I had all this expectation of when I go to London, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. But still, remember, I didn't have a job. So I moved to London without a job with my savings. I had like 12 grand saved. I tried to apply for so many jobs before I moved to London, but unfortunately I didn't really get anything. I did come for interviews in London and I didn't get it back. Sometimes they don't even sometimes they wouldn't even respond back or even tell me I have to be the one to run to chase them, you know, to ask them about what is happening. But yes, um I tried to apply for a job before moving out. I tried to be more responsible in a way that, you know, I would have a job, then move to London. But it was getting closer, closer to the date we set that we wanted to move out and I still didn't have a job. But when we found a house you know the requirement is that i need to have a full-time income obviously i didn't have a job but i was doing like zero hours contract jobs so like waitress and zero hour contracts not full-time jobs so it's like you can pick your hours you want to requirement doing the requirements when we were moving out they said that if i don't have a full-time job i need to have a guarantor or pay six months rent in advance i didn't have a guarantor so i decided to pay six months rent in advance that's what i did now i'm currently living in southwest london so it's kind of outside london it's not essential it is which is all right and i'm loving living in london i'm loving being an adult to be honest i still feel like a child most of the time even when i told my mom regardless i move out i still feel like a child and she said yes you're always going to be my child <laughs> You know when you're moving to a new place and you have so much expectation I had so much expectation I said I was going to find a job quickly because I worked in the healthcare and hospitality industry So I thought it was not going to be hard, you know, I thought it was going to be so simple I said I was going to go on so many dates I said I was going to make new friends I was going to model, I'm going to find an agency It's going to be easy for me I'm going to go to dancing class So basically you could just say I was very delusional you know i was not um how do my mom put it um i'm not realistic basically little did i know what awaited me now that i've moved to london my main goal was to find a job that was my main goal because with a job i can do all the things i want to do but i'm just like what is happening i'm for so many jobs i'm happy for healthcare jobs healthcare jobs here I feel like I have more opportunities to get a job but when, when in London there is job for healthcare but the pay is shit I worked as a healthcare assistant in Birmingham now I'm looking for healthcare ass assistant job in London it's saying eight pound nine pounds I'm like hold on a second nine pounds in London for healthcare jobs hell no I said to myself if I'm doing healthcare, I'm not going to, to work for less. It's so hard to work in a healthcare sector. It's really difficult and they don't understand the amount of stress, the amount of mental 
mental state you have to be in I'm not going to be working for eight pound or nine pounds. Even ten pound was even little. The numbers were not adding up when it comes to like pay with help within healthcare. I said to myself, I'm gonna change my career path to become like a social media manager. I didn't have a social media manager, you know. I know a little bit of social media because some people just apply for jobs without having experience. So that's what I was doing. I got the opportunity for interview and I was so so happy. The first stage went by, I passed it. Second stage was a presentation interview. I have never done a presentation interview before in my life. Some people helped me, you know, I kind of connected with some people online to kind of teach me, help me understand a few things. And when I went for the interview, it was actually good. I felt like I did well. I was actually really proud of myself. And <sighs> this was before New Year. They told me they're going to get back to me on the 28th of um, December. So the night passed, 30th passed, January passed, 1st of first of January passed, 2nd of January passed. Literally a whole week and a half and I didn't hear anything. So I had to contact them. You know, I haven't heard anything about the job. Like, I was like, oh, unfortunately you get it. So why didn't you tell me? I was really, really devastated because in my head I always thought I got the job. <laughs> when I say I'm so delusional, I am really delusional. In my head I already got the job because I thought I did well. You know, that shook me. That really brought down my confidence and after that I kept applying and applying and applying and applying and applying for jobs. Nothing. Nada. Like nada. So I you know one thing I didn't like about applying for the job is like most of them wanted like um, Monday, Monday to Saturday. I'm about to say but Saturday you're only working from 8 o'clock to 2, to 2 o'clock p.m. Fam. I'm still, I'm still working on Saturday. I don't want to work on Saturday. I don't want to give my weekend. I have life. I want to do other things I like. Except from job transport, I didn't realize how transport is so expensive. Like, right now, I'm literally paying £11.10 to go to work. In Birmingham, I'm paying £4. When I was in Birmingham, I was complaining that the, the transport was expensive. £4. £4 and I was complaining. Now I think about it, like, what is £4? £4, £4 is nothing. Child. Anyways, the underground, you have to be working fast in London. You have to make sure you work fast because people are just working fast. They work fast, they push through you. People are rude in London, I can't lie. Because when I came in London, I'm just like, excuse me? That's what you should say. But now I feel like I'm one of those people that just work fast now. Like, I just don't like people working slow, especially when I'm about to enter the tube. And you know when you're about to get in the tube, you have to run. And now that I'm living in London, um, I feel like to enjoy London, it's a good place, it's a calm place, you have to have money. Because I didn't have a job, I just kind of isolated myself. I, did, I didn't go out, I made I made a friend on Twitter, we met, um, but because I didn't have money, I was more like very frugal, like I didn't want to go out, like when they invited me, I just told her I can't afford it, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. And basically, I kind of lost contact with potentially friend, you know, just because I didn't have money. And to be honest, it's quite hard to, to make friends here, even as an adult now. I'm sure I'm sure in your twenties, if you if you're in your twenties, I'm sure you agree that now it's actually so hard to make friends. Really, really hard to make friends. I'm actually using Bumble, Bumble BFF to make friends. <sighs> I don't I've spoken to some few girls but I haven't met anyone yet. Honestly if I was to move alone I feel like I would be even more depressed. I would say I was a bit like low-key depressed but luckily i had my sister i lived with my sister and someone else so that was that was great i love my sister house the house we chose you know when we moved everything there was always an issue every week there was always an issue with the house every i can hear our neighbors you know they're always arguing they're always arguing like i can hear every damn thing they're saying luckily our landlord also she's efficient you know when there's a problem i always like send her group chat i send her like we have like a group chat we kind of tell her what is going on in the house and she respond you know she, she makes sure that she deals with it but if she doesn't deal with it i'm that i'm that girl that will disturb you until you've done it like i always like disturb her i don't want her to rest until she does it i'm that type of person it's going to be a year on the 28th of october so it's been a year i've moved out now i do have a job i started a job on the 2nd of October, this job came on time and I'm so happy. I'm so happy it's where I wanted to work in. Um, currently working in a dermatology clinic. I said to myself, after so many rejections, I was very intentional in where I wanted to work. I wanted to work maybe like in a clinical associate role, you know. I wanted to work in a clinic, hair clinic, skin clinic, but mostly I wanted to work in a skin clinic. Also, things are better after like a year have gone. Why I was going through all the crises, you know, of isolation, of not going out, of being frugal, 
not getting a job, getting rejected left and right. So I've learned so many things about myself. I learned I am very resilient. I make effort with myself. I am very hardworking. And when I put my mind to something, I'm going to make it happen. I'm so grateful for my sister. That's one thing. Even though I didn't have money, she she kind of provided for me in a way, which I'm so grateful for. Big up to big sisters. We love them. And now that I've moved away, my relationship with my mom is even much better. I understand my mom so much better. Like all the things we were kind of arguing about, I, I see her view more clearly. And some of the things we're arguing about, she was right. You know, parents are always right. <laughs> Mothers are always right, I can't lie. I see my mom for who she is. She's such a beautiful, caring, she's so cute woman, you know. And sometimes I'm just like thinking, what was I even arguing about? What, I could have just listened. I still like living away from parents. Sorry, mom. And also, I went on holiday. If you haven't checked my Jamaican video vlog, go check it out. Another good thing that came out from not having a job was I was able to create content, you know. I said to myself, okay, I have like a full-time job. I'm going to see, I'm going to be consistent with posting thing on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. So only slowly I'm getting I'm getting the hang of it. Um, I'm still learning a little bit more about YouTube. I haven't cracked it yet. You know, I can't lie, it's quite hard to stay consistent on YouTube. But we'll get there. This brings me to the end of this video. If you're going through the same thing as I've went through, don't give up. You can do it. The right time you come, the right job will come. I say so! Fighting! And don't forget to like and comment. Just comment if you're going through something similar, if you're through um, job hunting. How long did it take you to get a job? And how long did it take you to settle in the city you, you moved into? Comment also if you're looking to move into London. If you've been through similar situations, share some encouraging words, you know, for some people in the comments. So I don't know that so many people is going through the same situation as that. Uh, remember to subscribe and check out my fashion videos for outfit ideas. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>